be a best friend, they say it. It'll be fun, they say it. Hey guys, good morning. So I am actually about to head down to Columbus. It is Thursday. Um, I just got back in town yesterday and I um, have get my wisdom teeth out tomorrow. So I have to go down to Columbus and hurry up and handle some business down there and then come back up to Atlanta because I have to prepare to get everything ready for this weekend. So. So I'm waiting on my friend Vanessa. She came into town from Cali um, yesterday and was like, oh, you know, can you take me? I'll just catch a groom. And I'm like, Vanessa, you don't need to catch a groom. Like, I'm literally driving to Columbus in the morning, so you can just stay the night and then, you know, I'll, you can just ride with me. You don't even have to spend your money on a groom. So waiting on her so we can head down there to do that. Um, handle some business down there that I have to do and then Come back up here because I have to stock up on applesauce and popsicles and just being prepared to be in the house for the next three days. Watching Netflix, sleeping, talking to y'all, and popping pills to get this pain away because I have to make sure that I'm in shape to go to work on Monday. So, yeah. About to be a boring but exciting weekend I guess I don't know we'll see hey y'all so I'm back from Columbus I actually didn't vlog anything while I was down there I uh couldn't vlog anything in the car with me and Vanessa because <laughs> she took her hair out last night so she was going to get her hair done yes yeah, so her head was towed down so she <laughs> no putting her on camera <laughs> My hair was looking real crazy because she was in between breaks. I am about to take a nap though, because I am. I'm super tired. Uh, I, was, I was damn near falling asleep on the drive back up here. So, about to do that, then wake up, do some other stuff I gotta do, some real estate stuff, do something with this hair. Y'all see it's looking real crazy. This is like a day. Child, what's today? Thursday? Oh my God, this is like a five day wash and go. It's definitely time for it to go. It's not lasting as you can see, it's looking real crazy. Look at the back. Yeah, it's looking real crazy. So, do something with this hair, go to the grocery store, but. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. Two hours later. So we are back. Um, it's like one o'clock. I actually got back from Columbus at like 11, but I was dumb tired when I got back. So I actually laid down and took a nap and I set my alarm for one. But it's actually like, I think it's like 1.40 something. So, um, but I am excited though, y'all, because when I was driving back from Columbus, the company texted me about my fireplace. Yeah, I'm so excited. So it'll be here Saturday. And it'll be Saturday from 10 to 12. Yes, yes I will. Because, <laughs> getting my damn wisdom teeth out. So I'll be sitting in the house all weekend. So yes, yes, yes I will be here. <laughs> so I'm so excited, it's coming on Saturday. I cannot wait to get it, so pretty. So that kind of just really just like made my day. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, new video coming. It's gonna be an update with my fireplace. besides just applesauce and popsicles. It's like what you can eat when you get your wisdom teeth out. So I found this article on Healthline. It was 15 foods, 15 soft foods that to eat after having your wisdom teeth removed. And so it is one blended soups, 
So I picked up, I kind of want to do something different than only let them know. I wanted to do something different than um, lobster bisque because that's really the only like blended soup that I eat lobster bisque. So I was like, okay, so in, in the soup section, they had these three for five, the little ones, and I'm probably not gonna eat that much soup, honestly, I ain't gonna hold you because I'm about to be dumb skinny. Y'all, I'm about to be dumb skinny come Monday because I'm not eating nothing for three days, like not for real. So I got a cream of chicken, no, cream of chicken with herbs, a regular cream of chicken, and a home style chicken noodle, but this one has the really teeny, teeny little baby noodles and this is in it, so I think I'll be able just to just like swallow that whole, right? So I was like, all right, bet, blended soups. So then two broths, three Greek yogurt, which I already had yogurt in the refrigerator. Did I still have yogurt? Oh, no, yes I do. I already have, yo I already have yogurt in the refrigerator, so I didn't need to buy that. Four mashed potatoes. So I still have some of my mashed sweet potatoes in there that I made from Sunday. But just in case I do get like really hungry this between the next two days, I bought just some regular potatoes, just like a little small pack, just in case. Five scrambled eggs, even though I haven't had I haven't had eggs in like weeks, but there's eggs in there in the in there already. Applesauce which I knew, big ass jar of applesauce. Mashed bananas, so, some bananas. Banana ice cream, which is essentially mashed bananas frozen, and it makes like a custard, you can eat like ice cream. If you want something cold, because everyone knows when you get your business out, you want something cold. Avocado, I, I chew avocado, so I was like, yeah, no, I ain't full avocado, even though it's soft, no. To number 10 smoothies so I bought a bunch of the smoothies the bolt house farm smoothies that I already like drink pretty regularly anyway so I got a big strawberry banana but then I got a small sea boost a small berry boost and um, two green goodnesses and I drink these on a regular anyway, so I'm not even tripping on that. That's something that I, I drink that all every day anyways. 11 hummus. I'm not really going to eat hummus by itself. I normally have to eat something when it's like on something, like pita bread or like crackers. So I was like, nah, yeah, no, nah, I'll skip hummus. Cottage cheese, not doing that. <laughs> Instant oatmeal, not doing that. I like my oatmeal kind of low with texture, so yeah, no. Mashed pumpkin, mm, not really. And then um, 15, salmon. I was like, all right, yeah, nah, you chew salmon. I can go without salmon for three or four days. So I wasn't tripping on that. So the other thing that I bought, obviously, because everyone knows, is popsicles. So this actually wasn't that bad. This was only 229. It's the Kroger brand. It got 24 of like the big popsicles of like grape, orange, and cherry. So yeah, so this is what I'm about to be rocking out for the next three days. I figured this is good enough, you know what I'm saying? Popsicles, because you want something cold, but you're really supposed to stay away from ice cream because, which I, I already knew that, because of the yeast and the sugar, it can actually mess up your wounds. That's why they want you to do just the popsicles. So, about to rock it out. I'm about to go uh, do something with this hair and put it in a bun because I want to dinner tonight with Sheree. And as you can see, this is like a day. What is today, Thursday? I, what did I do my hair, Friday, Saturday? This is like a five or six day wash and go, and it's trash. And I know I'm not gonna feel like doing my hair uh, this weekend. So I'm about to, uh, we're about to high bun this up into a high bun, and it's staying in that high bun for three days. <laughs> Y'all, so take my glasses off because I know I'm about to wear these glasses out. <laughs> Y'all, so tonight's vibe is high bun because you know I'm having my surgery in the morning. So we got a high bun with a, it keeps riding up, with a burgundy, just a tube dress, with just some clear heels, some light, you know. 
some for tonight. Got on Obsession, the new one I just bought from Calvin Klein. Jewelry, you know, some light, some light or whatever. You know. <laughs> I 
for my mama, like, just hold on for a minute. She was like, all right, go ahead, I understand. hair is so long this shit is not let me set y'all down this damn top knot from bobby ben is been like the leading tower of pizza all night long it has been leaning to one damn side all night long so i have to pin it to get it to stay straight up um so I just got home, I'm super tired, I'm, real, I'm really tired. Restaurant, amazing. Like CNS Seafood, I've never been, Shrey been before. And I was just talking to Lonnie to remind him to pick my ass up in the morning for my surgery. And he said he been, and it was bomb. So it was really good. Um, it's like 12, 15 though. So I can't eat or drink anything, which sucks because I'm really thirsty. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't eat or drink anything after midnight. No. Yeah, so I will see y'all in the morning. I'm about to take off my makeup, get ready for bed. Yeah, this dress, Jesus. Um. So yeah, I'm not nervous about my surgery in the morning. I'm just. I feel like just the like the just the days of being pain. I'm gonna be like annoyed and like irritated. I'm nervous. We'll see. I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all, look at this fool sitting outside in his car. <laughs> he talking about stuff. Nah, gee, it's too early. I don't want to come in the house because then I'm going to get comfortable and I ain't going to want to leave. So he just sitting out in the car. We literally have like 30 minutes until we need to leave. I was like, bro, you can come in the house. No, so he's just sitting out in the parking lot. Like... <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning. So today is my surgery. I get my wisdom teeth out. Kind of tired, kind of nervous. Um, I actually woke up not feeling that great. Like I don't know if it was something I ate last night at dinner. But that's not really a good sign because that's why they don't want you to eat or drink anything after midnight. Um, because when you're getting put to sleep, you can get sick and throw up and shit like that. Oh, I need some light. Where's the light? Ah, here we go. Um, you can get sick and like throw up and stuff. And so that's why I don't want you to eat or drink anything after midnight. And I woke up this morning like not feeling the greatest. Like I don't know what's going on, but I just felt kind of kind of woozy. So I'm a little nervous about getting put to sleep and I already woke up like not feeling that great. So we're gonna see. Um, Lonnie's actually here. This fool is sitting outside. He got here, I was gonna be here at nine. He got here like 8.50. He was like, sitting in the car. I was like, where are you coming out? He was like, nah, cause I'm gonna get too comfortable. <laughs> so weird. So he's here, so yeah, let's do this. Lonnie texts me, talk about some, um, bring a small, bring a small blanket. Bitch, he about to get this pink and white <laughs> polka dot blanket. <laughs> oh, he about to get this pink and white blanket and go call it a day. <laughs> Did 
this motherfucker sleep. Sir. Wake your ass up. It's pink and polka dots. Question. Turn this shit down for you get me because it can't copyright. And now you can turn it down. So y'all, we gotta um got questions because Lonnie just told me the funniest story ever. If you went to a girl's house, like the first time you went to her house, like first day picking her up, and her house was messy. Would you say something? <laughs> Lottie said he went to this girl's house. He was like, no, how you said it? Like he said it in like a joking manner. <laughs> <laughs> it's slick messy in this motherfucker, ain't it? <laughs> and she was like, oh, you think so? And he was like, I just said that. <laughs> Dog, I was cracking up. This shit is so funny to me. I was like, Lonnie, did you did you really say that to the girl? Yeah, and he said, know. he said, yeah, she needed to know that shit was messy. I was like, but did you? Because it wasn't regular mess. It was like extra. It was like it, it was like it was like a lot. Like my brain was just like I was processing everything. Like damn, it's a whole lot. Like where do I sit? <laughs> I had to move shit around on the couch to sit down and I was really uncomfortable so I just had to like address the situation and let her know that like but Bitch like, stop playing But you don't think that's rude? No That was your first time going to her house picking her up for a date I was just making an observation honestly and I just decided to say it to her What was I supposed to do? Just be like Oh no it's good Cause no that's how people begin No cause it don't ever be good When people be saying no you good I wasn't good. <laughs> I wasn't good. I was uh, so yeah, I need, I need to know in the comment section, if you went to a person's house, not even a girl, not even a guy to a girl, like a girl to a guy, like you went to a person's house for the very first time and it was messy. And y'all know me when my OCD is set up. So like, I don't ever say nothing. I just be like, hmm. would you say That's what something? I'm saying. My shit was in overdrive. But but you don't say nothing. Like I'd be like that too. Like, if I my OCD is, is driving me crazy, I have to say something. Not on the first. Not on the first meeting though, Lonnie. Like not on the first. The first time you ever went to the girl house. No, I just had her let her know that I have standards for her, and she didn't meet them. So. <laughs> it is what it is. Dog, I can't. And like I feel, I, I just know for a fact that she would probably do the same thing if she went to my house. Like she would probably be like, oh, it was messy. And if it was messy, I'd be like, yeah, you're right, it is. I don't think she would say something. No, she. I don't, would. I don't, I don't, I don't think girls say something. No, she had the nerve to change my radio. She, she had the nerve to tell me that when she was messy. I just don't believe that she wouldn't say that. But let me tell you why I don't think that girls say something because I think that women, like we already kind of feel like guys are like messy anyways. So we would go, we would think it was like normal. But that was like, my it's thing. an anomaly when we meet someone who is super neat. But that's my thing though. Girls are usually more neat. And that shit was just like a lot. It was a lot. So you felt like for a girl, she was too messy. Yeah, yeah, it was like nigga messy. It was like, it was like girl who like <laughs> plays sports messy. Yeah, that's what it was like. <laughs> Like it felt like I was gonna see a pair of drawers sitting around somewhere. Like, like it was like that kind of. It, it felt like it felt like I was in a locker room a little bit. Mm. I ain't like Interesting. that. Interesting. I don't like that at all. I like I like women to be women to the fullest extent of it. That's true, cause I, cause even me as a girl, I don't like when girls are messy. Yeah. And I always never know if that's like a thing with me being a woman or just me because of my OCD and cleanliness and OCD. shit like that, or because I grew up like that. Like I grew up military style, so yeah, like it had to be 
everything has a place toothbrush here yeah everything has a place like it goes where it goes like i i grew up like that so i don't know if that's what it is but i'd be the same way when i because i'd be like when i see a girl i'd be like but you're a girl yeah, like know. yeah uh, so i i can i can see that but i just never know if it's me thinking because you're a girl like you shouldn't be as messy or because it's how i grew up but now you being a guy saying no 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 girls can't be messy that that kind of confirms that because it's also like i just feel like she went out her way to invite me to her place like because she was like yeah come on in here and get them and i was like i feel like she should she knew her place was messy so she's been like i'll just bring them to you so, yeah. if I took the time out to get my car washed and detailed to get the inside clean for this, I feel like she should have did the same thing for her. Took the time to straighten up her apartment before inviting yeah, you over. It was just a lot. That's true. So. That That's true. Be a best friend, they say it. It'll be fun, they say it. Y'all have a great time, they say it. I'm here. Jessica's appointment. I'm in the car because of COVID. I ain't gonna hold y'all. This haircut kind of nice. Damn, he did that. First time I see myself on camera. Um, I'm watching Jessica's favorite person ever on YouTube. Um, so I want y'all to also, uh, <laughs> um, Godfather Kevin Samuel. She's gonna love this clip as soon as she watches this back. Um, Godfather Samuels, um, Kevin Samuels, my man, the, the one that's restoring order to all of this imbalance. Thanos himself, <laughs> bitch, the door. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, women do treat Kevin Samuels like he Thanos. Like they trying to stop that nigga from getting all six uh six stones. I know if he snaps his fingers, he's gonna get rid of us all. <laughs> Damn, that shit funny. Hilarious. Um So yeah. I'm just doing my best part. Um I'm just doing my part as a best friend too. I'm vlog this shit. I'm just sitting in the car. I can't do shit else. Wasting gas. Um, so, ooh, there you go. So yeah, I hope you have a fun time chopping this up, Jessica. Um, I ain't really got too much to talk about. Eating a little breakfast. Damn, her tripod neck loose as hell. Damn, I don't like that. But this is a break. This is the breakfast. It's almost done now. But yeah, so she in there, uh she in there getting deep throat surgery. Um to expand her esophagus so she can no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me stop before she really be <laughs> she gonna be tight as hell once she see this clip. <sighs> yeah, she in there getting her esophagus enlarged so she can take some meat down the pipe, I guess. <laughs> Cause you know, uh, her mouth is small now, I guess she says, and um, her non-existent lovers have been complaining. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty funny. So yeah, I'm about to go to sleep now cause I'm tired as hell and it's hot in here. Damn, I gotta turn the air on. But yeah, I hope y'all having a good day. Make sure I like, comment, and subscribe. Go over to Fenarios as well and show some love. Appreciate y'all out. One hour later. Yeah. 
You all right? So, uh, Jessica's, uh, esophagus along with surgery went great. <laughs> She's good, y'all. All her, uh, non existent, uh, niggas out there. She got the surgery done right. Uh, so she'll be in tip top shape. <laughs> I can't feel my face. You can't feel this? <laughs> oh man, this is this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. I needed this laugh today. Alright, so she's done. She got her surgery. How many teeth you get taken out? Two? Three? Three? Yeah. yeah. Four? Yeah, damn, you still got some teeth left in there? <laughs> hey, this is pretty funny. I see the videos of people when they be going under, and like they be coming out and they be talking like crazy like this, or they be like this. So it's actually funny to experience this in person. Uh, all right, we're gonna get her home and get her some shit, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, okay, we gotta stop at Kroger, so. Say hi to your people. Okay. Dog, this is crazy. Meanwhile, Many hours later. Hey guys, so it's a few hours after my surgery. I know Lonnie talked to you. I don't know what he said, but he told me that he talked to you guys. Um, I've mostly been like in and out of sleep all day. When I got back, I got back at like one or two. I have, I have these gauze in my mouth if I'm cutting my mouth. Um, yeah, I think I've been like really in and out of sleep. I think it's like 8.45. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just call it a night. Because when I have been sleeping, I've been sleeping. And then I'll be up for like an hour. And then I'll fall back asleep. So I'm just going to call it a night. So I'm going to take these gauze out. Because you can't sleep with your gauze. Because it's still been bleeding every time I look. But you can't sleep because it's a choke hazard. But um, these these perks have really had me like loopy. Like I'm so loopy right now. I, I just took one at at, at six because I think got me on um, prednisone. It's a steroid I've taken it before. They got me on um, Motrin 800. They got me on something. Uh, Zofran, which is I guess for pain too. And then they got me on perks. And I, I like have to get on perks. Like if I get it doesn't work for me. Like it doesn't do anything. So perks is what I have to get on. And I haven't been on perks since like my last like major surgery, which was like four years ago. And so these perks got me like loopy y'all <laughs> like i be i'm laying in bed like the room be spinning and shit <laughs> you can see here like this side of my jaw is like swollen and this one's not as swollen as this one but oh let me let that in huh? yeah so um i think i'm just gonna call it a night um, I have to, I'm a little hungry, and I have to eat when I take, uh, prednisone anyways. If you've ever taken prednisone, you know it's a steroid, and you have to eat when you're on it. Um, I haven't had anything. All I've had is just 
water. Like I've been taking water to like take the medicine with. Um, I'm super dehydrated too. That's why I know my voice is kind of hoarse because I know I'm dehydrated because I haven't been able to drink because I've been so tired the past six hours. I've been out of it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna eat like a bowl of applesauce really quick and then take the rest of these meds and then call it a night. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. So it is like eat something. It's 8.06. It's time for me to take my medicine again because they get it. One of them I take 8, 12, 4, 8. The other ones I take at 8, 2, and 8. Um, I kind of just woke up. I was like up in the middle of the night. Like this this side isn't hurting as bad as this side, which is probably because top and bottom. Um, it's kind of hard to sleep, especially when the medicine wore off. But I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to take any medicine in the middle of the night because I don't want to get get addicted to taking it like at night. So I'm trying to only like I took the last dose at eight and then ten, and I said I wasn't taking anything else again until eight a.m. So like I woke up in the middle of the night and I was up for like an hour or so, like when the perks started wearing off. But then I made myself like fall back asleep. Um. Yeah, hurting a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it was. It's really hurting like down here, like with the root. I can feel it like on the bottom. But I know as soon as I pop this perk, like three minutes later, I'm gonna be like loopy again. It's gonna be crazy. Um, it's a little bit hard to open my jaw. I tried to like stretch my jaw this morning because she told me to not talk with my jaw small because that's how you get um some long word with the T. She said you have to make yourself like open your jaw wide and talk wide so it doesn't get stuck talking small. So I tried like stretching my mouth and that helped a little bit. That's how I'm actually able to talk as good as I am now. Um, I put this on my pillow because they were saying to put a towel in case you like bleed out your mouth during the night but I guess I don't sleep with my mouth open because there's nothing on my towel. So. And I had gauze in my mouth for most of the time yesterday when I was taking naps. I didn't go to sleep, sleep with it in it. Cause like I was telling y'all yesterday, it's a choke hazard. So with my like little naps yesterday, I did, but with sleeping all night, I didn't. Um, so today I'm kind of just chilling. I'm about to get up. I have to go in, cause I have to, like, I have to take that prednisone. So I have to eat something in that Motion 800. So I'm gonna go downstairs and just eat a bowl of applesauce like I did last night just to take that medicine. Cause normally I don't eat before 12 because I know I intermittent fast. Um, and then I think I told y'all the other day, but I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. I don't even know what day vlog this is. I I texted y'all the other day because I got um, a message about my fireplace. They had texted and they was like, "Good morning, Miss Jessica. Please let." Me know in case you can be available on Saturday between 10 and 12 to receive your delivery from DHI Furniture Store. That's the place that I got my fireplace from in the other vlog. Um, and because I knew I was having surgery today, I was like, yeah, I'll be home. So today from 10 to 12, my fireplace is supposed to get here. So I'm excited about that. Um, outside of that, I'm just chilling. Just chilling. I'm just tired. My mouth is dry. I need to drink some water. So, that's my morning update for day two of wisdom teeth removal. Let me tell you how, let me tell you how funny how, like, these phones be listening, y'all. Like, be listening. I just got my wisdom teeth out yesterday. And I had just started texting or whatever, talking about how, yeah, like, I want to get braces. Oh, on Thursday, I was in the car with Vanessa. I was telling her that now that I'm gonna be getting my wisdom teeth out, I wanna get braces because these bottom ones cause my bottom rows to shift a little bit. So I kind of have like a little bit of a cross at the bottom and it's always been like an insecurity for me, like really bad. 
and this year it's actually on my list to get veneers but i was like i want to straighten my teeth back before getting veneers because i don't want to go to the people that shave down your teeth to get the veneers i want to get the ones that just they just put them right on top right so i got to straighten why when i got online on instagram today to respond to um i was sending tk a dm back and then i was scrolling like on instagram why i had an ad oh shit. why i had an ad from smile direct club bite and candy smile I ain't never searched none of these things. I ain't never looked them up. I never did none of that. All I did was mention to someone. Mention. Not even type it. Mention to someone that I want to get braces. Now all of a sudden, all of these clear aligner braces are coming across my feed. Y'all, these phones be listening. It doesn't even matter about what you type or text or search. These phones be listening to what we say, even when they're off. I remember I was on a phone call with someone one time. I was on a phone call and I said something about Zaxby's. And I hadn't even ate Zaxby's like that. That's why I was talking to them about that. I was like, man, I really want some Zaxby's. Mm. The whole rest of the night, Zaxby's ads, all the other things. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even go to Zaxby's. I only said it to someone on the phone. I never even went. But that, that's how, that's how, that was my first encounter of knowing that these phones be listening. But, but even then, it don't even have to be talking. My phone was not on. I was in the car driving with Vanessa. Phone was off. It was not my phone. I only mentioned about braces. Now all of a sudden, I keep getting all these smile direct things, and I had been and I guess I and I guess I had been searching like with some two stuff because I told y'all I looked up like Fuzzy and stuff like that. Now all of a sudden, every other ad, smile direct, bite, candid, like the government be listening, y'all. The government be listening. I be listening. Now I see why Lonnie has. Um, can't a tape over his laptop computer, like they be listening for real. <laughs> can't even laugh. Oh, I can't even laugh. Jesus, good morning. Day two. So, I'm up. It's literally probably like not even 10 minutes after I just talked to you guys. I was thinking I was gonna be able to go without gauze today, but I'm not because I went downstairs. To um, eat some applesauce and to take, because to take the medicine, we can take it. And I felt something like on the side of my mouth, and I think it's like a stitch or something. And it has now started bleeding again. So now I have to put gauze back in my mouth because this whole side of my mouth is bleeding. Um, <clears throat> and then because I just ate, I have to take this rinse. It says take a half ounce, which I'm guessing is like a half a cup, um, after breakfast and at bedtime until three times a day, daily, after breakfast and at bedtime until empty, rinse for 30 seconds and spit, and then no eating or drinking for 30 minutes after. So I am about to take this to see if it, because it says you can use this or like salt, a salt water rinse, I'm just going to do this. Um, put that gauze back in my mouth and then get my ass back in the bed because my mouth is killing me. It's bleeding and I know that perk is gonna have me loopy in a second, so Cheers, good morning <laughs> Y'all, what did I just tell y'all about this fucking internet? Watch this So what I'm scrolling what the snake they got to? Now it's one for Invisalign. What the? <laughs> I have literally seen an ad for every single braces thing company out there. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> be listening. So, really? Diamond. 
come on. Come on. So, the fireplace people just called me and said they're like 30 minutes away. So, I had to get up and put some clothes on. Um, so, oh, let me turn this TV down. So, they just called me and said they're like 35 minutes away. So, I'm excited that it's finally here. So, you guys know it's going to be going in this room right here. It's going to be going right over there against that wall. Still have not decided on a pink color yet in this room. Let me stand back for a pink color yet in this room or I want to do it. I plan on redesigning this entire room, but that is getting delivered, which is good because that's the last big piece of furniture that I needed because, you know, had like the sofa and chairs and the coffee table, which was like, I forgot how much the sofa and chairs were because it got so long ago. Then the coffee table was five, like 500, I think I got it, I got it on sale. And then, you know, from the other vlog, the fireplace is gonna be right there, is, was like another thousand. So the only thing, only major piece left that I have to do in this room is I wanna have like a little table that's gonna be in, in between here, cause I wanna have a picture of my mom, one of her glamour shots up. I wanna sort of picture if I can find one. I want to have it blown up and it took me for it took me years to t finally get the picture so I could have an original to blow up because I only had a picture of a picture so it's gonna go right there it's gonna be blown up with the thing and then I want to have her flag underneath it with the Bible so that's my plan for this room unless I decide to move it somewhere else but I'm excited they said they're on the way so I think I'm gonna move the coffee table out of the way or at least roll up this rug like move the chairs and roll up the rug because I don't want them walking on the rug. I have shoe covers, but yeah, I'm either gonna give them shoe covers or I'm gonna roll up the rug, like pull it like over the couch. I don't know, but I'm so excited. It's finally coming. It's like the last big piece that I need for this room. It's cracked. Yep. See, yeah. take take it back. <laughs> Tell the guy to order me another one. That's why I say it never it never fell. My coffee table was the same way. So do I need to call? Do I need to call um George or is he gonna call me? Uh, you can call him. Okay. Um, okay. I'm telling you, never fails. I don't know what it is with Acme. You always have to send their shit back again to get, I don't know what it is. It's always cracked the first time you get it. Always. All right. Thank you guys. Well, I'll talk to George and figure out where we go from here. Thank you. So guys, as you see, I will not be getting my coffee, my, my fireplace today because it was cracked. <sighs> as much as I love Acme products. Yeah, now I got some gauze in my mouth, so I'm talking weird. As much as I love Acme products, it never failed. And literally I was telling, I was telling the guy that and he said the same thing. I don't know what it is about acne products, but the first time you get something from them that's mirrored or glass, it is going to be cracked. I went through the same thing with this coffee table because the, the fireplace that I ordered is a coffee, is matches this. 
And when I got this, I had to send it back because a whole pillar was broke and the top was cracked. We just opened it. The part of the front that looks like this is all completely cracked. So they're taking it back and I have to get another one. It's probably gonna be another month before I get that one. <sighs> Home decor fails. I don't know what it is about Acme. I think it's how they handle it from the time they get it to the company. I don't know. But if you ever order anything from Acme, just know the first one you get, it's gonna be cracked. It's gonna be cracked. I had the same thing happen with this coffee table. The same thing. Oh, so aggravated. I done flipped everything up, had it all ready to go. Ugh. It didn't so bad. <laughs> of pain this morning um i woke up i'm talking better but i woke up and i can barely move my jaw like like this is why i just like, open my mouth like like i can be like this like i can go this way but i can't go this way i'm in a lot of pain um, I didn't take any of the perks last night or this morning um, for my, because I was taking it every four hours. So I didn't take it last night for the last dose, and I didn't take it this morning at 8. Um, I might take it at 12, I don't know. I didn't take it because I actually have a lot of stuff that I need to get done, and I can't afford to be loopy. I've been dumb loopy ever since Friday. and But I had to, I did take the Motrin in the... The other two, I forgot the name of them. But I didn't take the perks because I don't want to be loopy. And in order for me to go to work tomorrow, I can't be on perks. So I said I had already I had already said that I was stopping taking the perks today. But I'm kind of like freaked out a little bit because like this is as far as I can open my mouth. <laughs> um definitely talking better, but Still, like in a lot of pain so today I am just chilling I'm just gonna be preparing for the week as well as um, editing because I have a um, I have three three vlogs to edit because if you haven't noticed my vlogs are kind of like three weeks behind that kind of gives me a lot of time to get the editing process done so like anytime you've seen a vlog that was probably either two or three weekends before um this next one is probably about to be pretty long um and then it's gonna be like a short one and then probably another long one it just depends oh god um so yeah i'm just about to i think i'm gonna try to eat some scrambled eggs it says it on that thing i could have scrambled eggs so i'm gonna try to eat some scrambled eggs um yeah, jaw's really hurting. So I'm just chilling, taking it light today, working, editing, still not talking as much as I can, even though I am talking better. But because it's hurting to move my jaw, I don't think I'm gonna talk that much today. So that's it for this one, guys. I might follow up with you guys later. But if not, <laughs> Thank you for watching this vlog. I know that it was crazy. Don't listen to anything that Lonnie tells you. He's a psycho. Um, and it really was hilarious. Oh, and just a word to the wise. Don't be on perks and tweet. <laughs> oh my God. Don't, don't, do not tweet and perk. It doesn't go well together. <laughs>